All right, ladies and gentlemen, continuing on, see if you can notice what's different about this car. So as you guys can see, we got Seagarn Speed 252 right over there checking out the Accelerate Yellow Z51 C8 Corvette and I'm about to go check it out and show you guys everything about it. So check this out. This is a beautiful Accelerate Yellow Z51 Corvette. It's got the regular five spoke uh, Stingray wheels on it. It does have a feature that I know street speed likes, I'm not a big fan of it, but it is the see-through uh, roof. But tell me what you guys think. Do you like the Accelerate Yellow? I do like the black interior with the Accelerate Yellow. And this is, I think, a 3LT package because it's got the different color stitching. But... After I say that, no, it can't be because that's got GT1 seats in it. So it can't be a 3LT. But I did notice something that's really interested, interesting is because this car is from Michigan, they actually have uh, snow tires on it and they're siphoned. So when you look down here at these tires, these are like, they're not Blizzaks, but they're Michelin's version of like a Blizzak tire with all of these sipes in it, so it handles good in the snow and wet. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So that's cool. That, that tells you they drive this car in the bad weather in Michigan for sure. And as you can see, it's got a Michigan license plate. So so what do you think of this car, Seagarner Speed 252? Yeah, I love this color a lot, dude. I, I'm super excited about this color. I'm not going to lie. This was your second oh, choice, huh? I've been waiting on this car for so long. Cause I wanted to see it in person. This is my second time seeing it in person other than yesterday. Right. Love it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it too, man. It stands out. I mean, look at it. If you look at this whole entire road, what's right. the first thing you see? Yeah, is that? Yeah, go for it, man. Yeah, it's the first thing you see. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. The only thing that I think I would have added on this car is the lower uh, piece down here. I think it is a... $499 option oh, yeah, and yeah. that that is a black it, you know it's covered in black instead of uh, the, the body color I think that would set it off even more but as it sits that is just gorgeous all right ladies and gentlemen continuing on see if you can notice what's different about this car before I tell you if you notice right now in the next five seconds or 10 seconds, whatever you need, put it down in the comments below because I didn't notice it until I got to the back of the car. That's going to give it away all by itself. But not only is this not a Z51 Stingray, but it's also not a coupe. Notice it yet? I bet you have. This is a convertible. And it is the first convertible that I've ever seen in person. Obviously, the dead giveaway is right here. There is no, uh, obviously, hatchback where you can see the engine. But... It does have these little louver vents here and you can see inside there and still see a part of the engine. Then we've got, you know, the very small back uh, window with the rear camera on the top. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. I've seen a lot of C8s. This is the first convertible I've seen. So yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. Thanks, man. You too.
this C8 has lines that the coupe does not have and I'm absolutely loving it. Look at this. I love this section right here, especially that right there. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous stuff. This has the GT2 seats. So tell me what you guys think about the convertible. It has the normal Stingray five spoke wheels on it. I'm loving those on this car. Normally I would like black, but man, that really looks good like that. The two-toned mirrors, they stuck with the carbon flash intake. Just everything about this Elkhart Lake Blue convertible is absolutely gorgeous. So again, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this look, about the lines of this look. Tell me what you think about how this non-Z51 convertible Stingray looks in your opinion. Tell me if you think it's exotic looking. Tell me if you think it looks like a supercar. Tell me if you think it looks like both exotic and supercar. Tell me anything you want to tell me about it. I'd love to hear your input on what you think about this beauty. Do you like the color? Do you like the color combination? Do you like the wheels? Do you like the small rear window when you have the top uh, closed? Do you like these louvers here that obviously uh, vent the engine what else do you like the interior this is a 2LT interior with GT2 seats and a carbon fiber package let's see if we can get that to focus nope the rain is really screwing me up right now it's been raining pretty good out here and it's made it very difficult to look inside of these cars. And it's been raining pretty good, so there's just way too much rain on the windows to be able to get a close up. My camera won't focus. Maybe, just maybe, I can get a focus in right here. No. No, it's not gonna do it. So again, tell me everything you love or hate about this car. Personally, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the only thing that I don't like as well on this car, and you guys probably already know this, and that is that you can't see the engine. There's no clear hatch to be able to see the engine right here. However, what you get for having for you know sacrificing that view is you get all of this space right here that isn't taken up with your roof on the coop you know you can fit two golf bags back here in your coop but you can't take the top off and still do that so with this being a convertible it goes inside and then you still have the full size trunk that you don't have to put a roof in and you can fit your golf bags in there or whatever else you want to put in there and have so much more room because now you can come up front to the front trunk and also fit a lot of stuff in there. So for $7,000 more, you're getting a retractable roof that you never have to lift and put in your trunk and you're getting more cubic inches of space so it is a win-win situation in my opinion 
to go ahead and get this car if you are okay with a $7,000 higher price tag. And there's a lot of people out there that are, no doubt about it. Tell me what you think about this car. I know I'm asking a lot of questions, but man, I'm in, I'm in heaven right now. This is the first uh, convertible that I've seen and I'm just wanting to go over it and just keep going over it. Peter Carey, I know I'm making you dizzy right now walking around this car constantly. I'm getting dizzy myself, but I know that you guys are gonna appreciate all the different angles of footage that I've been able to get for you. Uh, the rain has slowed down a lot, so that's a good thing. But uh, anyway, that's gonna wrap this video up. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you have not yet joined the wonderful Brink of Speed community, think about hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. With that being said, I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you out on the road.